Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. I'm here in my driveway. I've got uh, my busted up cash box from my firewood stand. And a lot of you are interested in the firewood stand. A lot of people have been following it. And what what can you expect to happen? The good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, first of all, I want to stress for the most part, it's been very positive. I've been making uh, pretty decent money and most people I have found to be honest. But uh, uh, you know, I had theft the first week I did this almost a year ago. And then I've had some attempts at uh, theft. I, I mean, I had theft of bundles uh, over a year ago. And then I've had attempted theft in my uh, cash box. And uh, you can see here's part of it now. It is just a wood cash box. But uh, Saturday, just a couple days ago, I was working on the property with a friend. They were building the campground. And uh, we were there almost all day till about 1 o'clock. I left for a little bit. Uh, came back at 5. And when I came back, this sealed box, which should be sealed, this was busted, down, laying down open like this, and all the cash was gone. And uh, there had been a lot of work done on it. So uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say, you know, this was not the first effort uh, for, for stealing. This box, you might say, why are you doing a wood box? But with a, a hard wood and with this thickness and the glues and the staples uh, and the, as small as the box is, I could park my truck on top of it and it wouldn't have broke. And like I said, many people have tried uh, to uh, break in in the past. You can see all this that looks like it's been gnawed on by a beaver. Uh, <laughs> so someone had been in there uh, chipping it with a hammer and uh, or a screwdriver or something else and there was a lot of chips and they weren't able to get away into it uh, previously and the grooves that you see here we go uh, up on the top here that are cut there some of those were there previously so when I came down this was busted into the uh, I'm, I'm guessing it probably was the same person and he, he couldn't get in with a hammer and some other stuff so he went home and got a crowbar and came back and got it got into it so that's frustrating um, and I the biggest mistake I think I made in this is and not just making it a wood one I you know someday I'm gonna buy a metal box uh, I don't have all the welding equipment I need to make a good one but uh, I typically put 30 bundles in the firewood stand at one time and they're five dollars a bundle and so there can be up to hundred fifty dollars worth of cash and when I reload the firewood stand then I take out the cash and uh, we were down to just a few bundles left, probably five bundles left. And uh, so I hadn't taken the cash out for a while. So whoever broke in probably got away with over $100. And uh, so not that that's going to cripple me financially. You know, uh, uh, this is just spending cash for me. But uh, it's enough that it rewarded him that he's probably going to want to do it again. So when I fix this, I, I, until I get a metal box, I'm just going to fix this back up or make something similar. He's going to see that and go, hey, I got $100 last time. And so, or over $100, so I'm going to go do this again. Whereas uh, if I emptied my box more often, because I'm going down there quite a lot because I'm working on developing the campground. If I was to empty my box daily or whatnot, then if someone wants to break in, they get $15. They'll still ruin my box. But the effort and the risk of getting caught wasn't worth $15 or $20. So I'm, I'm probably, when I put this back up, going to be uh, emptying the box uh, more, more rapidly. So if they do steal something, not that I don't uh, lose more money, but so they don't get rewarded and want to come back again. It's just like when I go to a new fishing hole, if I catch a bunch of fish, I'm going to come back. If I go fishing and I'm not catching anything, probably not going to come back. So. I don't want them catching anything. So I'm going to head back in the garage, see if I still have some uh, appropriate wood. I, I might put, uh, I'll put some glue in there again that make it really strong and some uh, stronger screws and some other things and uh, hopefully get this all back together. And uh, as I said, for the most part, this has been a positive experience. Lots and lots of honest people leaving money in and uh, just, you know, but it takes one or two yahoos to ruin the whole bunch. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, this happened on Saturday. I came back from church on Sunday and this, I had left it like this uh, open on Saturday night and then there was four or five bundles left and when I came back from church, someone had tried to push this back up and they had taken a couple bundles and they left cash in there because even though my cash box was broke, they, they put cash in there 
and they tried to make it so nobody could see that there was cash there, and I was able to get that. So that's the type of people that this firewood stand is for. Thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects like firewood and firewood stands are my passion. I hope to see you again soon. Be blessed, everyone.